Hello everyone. I am Dr. Seturaman Panchanathan. I go by Punch. Let me start by telling you a story. UC San Diego professor, Dr. Romy Amaro had an idea. She wanted to create the first moving all atom replica of a virus. So with the NSF supported Blue Water supercomputer, Romy's team modeled the 2009 H1N1 virus. All 160 million moving atoms probably one of the largest viral simulations ever performed. Now, this was a new approach. As Rami explained, some people asked, well, what are you going to learn from this? Here is what. Within days of publishing research of the H1N1 simulations, Rami's team was able to immediately pivot to modeling the COVID virus on the NSF-funded supercomputer Frontera. That's one reason the National Science Foundation exists to give a high risk, high reward idea like Romy's a shot. And by empowering basic research for societal impact, over time, the results are life-changing. It is an honor to join the National Science Foundation as its 15th director. And it is a personal joy to serve as its first director, and you'll all appreciate it, from the field of computer science and engineering. These happen to be my very first external remarks in my new role. No wonder I'm glad to share them with all of you at the Computing Research Association. I was on the CRA committee in 2008, way back when we had the new iPhone 3G. Can you believe it? Since then, consider how far and fast you have pushed the frontiers of computing and computer science and engineering. I know this from my own work as the founding director of the Center for Cognitive Ubiquitous Computing called Cubic at Arizona State University, where researchers from AI and machine learning are used to empower people across the entire range of abilities. This is what I learned. Inclusivity leads to better outcomes. When you work with individuals who have different abilities, you understand the hard problems to solve and you find solutions that enable everyone. In this way, diversity enriches innovations to solve problems. The best science is shaped by a wide range of perspectives. And for the US to maintain global leadership, accessibility in STEM must be a priority. We must inspire talent in every corner of our nation, from the coast to coast, from the heartland to the Sun Belt, from remote rural areas to the largest urban centers. We must empower role models at every level of leadership. We must pursue creative solutions to uplift talent and potential from all socioeconomic backgrounds. And we must scale effective programs such as what SIZE is doing with its broadening participation in computing pilot. Now in its second year and seeking to engage the entire SIZE community in efforts to improve diversity and inclusion in all SIZE career pathways. Let me be very clear. I pledge that accessibility will be a cornerstone of my tenure in all ways possible. I know from experience that doing research where humans and machines meet in synergistic, symbiotic manner leads to amazing breakthroughs. It also changes conventional ways of thinking. For example, it changes how you see this concept of disabilities or the range of abilities. Assistive technologies enable us to overcome specific limitations, but more than that, they empower us to tap the unlimited capacities of the human spirit. They open our minds to innovation. And both the spirit of creativity and the innovative mindset are fundamental to economic prosperity and global competitiveness. One of the best ways we can exemplify and permeate these ideals is through partnerships. One reason ASU leads in innovation is because we removed silos across disciplines. We build partnerships among local and national communities, industries, and philanthropies. From both academic and industry perspectives, when you approach complex problems, security and privacy in 5G, for example, along the way, you might encounter fundamental basic research problems that yet have to be solved. In other words, to move forward on complex problems, you might first have to go back and solve basic research problems. NSF is a beacon for basic research. We all know that. 
but partnerships can spark inspiration to pursue different realms within basic research. That's exactly what you see with NSF Innovation Core or i program. Dr. Ayana Howard, a panelist in a later session today, participated in i and told NSF it reframed her approach to research. She considers potential users and ultimately put educational technologies in the hands of children with severe disabilities. Those are the results of a culture aligned through an innovation mindset. That's how we will confront daunting challenges. The team modeling COVID, they are an excellent example of convergence among disciplines, agencies, institutes, ranging from chemistry, biology, physics, computing, engineering, and all, basic and applied research. They are sharing data, not just with academia, but with partners for developing antibodies. Before I turn it over to Dr. Margaret Martinosi, consider this, your work is inspiring partnerships. Your work is supporting resiliency across the entire SNE ecosystem, and your work will blaze bright new trails forward into the endless frontier. The work that you have done, the advances you will make are a great good hope for progress. I look forward to joining you again in the future. Thank you for this opportunity.